What is up everybody? Welcome back to the Maths Guide. Today we're going to be looking at powers of 10, so let's waste no time, let's go. Okay, so I'm sure some of you have never heard of this expression before, powers of 10, but I guarantee by the end of this lesson you will understand what it is and why it's really important with the numerical system. So let's start with our first example. If we just had 10, then 10 would just simply on its own equal 10. And then my second example, and hopefully you might start to catch on to a bit of a pattern here, would be 10 times 10, and 10 times 10 equals 100. Let's do a couple more. If I had 10 times 10 times 10, that equals 1,000. And maybe at this point you're starting to notice a bit of a pattern with our standard form numbers, which are the numbers here, 10, 100, 1,000. Let's see if that pattern continues. With my fourth example, 10 times 10 times 10 times 10, that equals 10,000. Hopefully you could see that. And then finally, let's just do one more example, 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 equals, yep, you guessed it, 100,000. So now we can start to see this pattern emerging in our standard form answers. This section over here, this is what we call the expanded form. And then this in the yellow is what we call the standard form. And all the expanded form is, is just the breaking down of how many tens we're multiplying together to equal our standard form. But what you might not have seen so far is now this third example, the exponential form. So the exponential form is how many tens have we broken down to get to our standard form. So in this last example, we have 10, but we have 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. So we have five of them. So we have 10 to the power of five. And this over here, we call the exponential form. And they all are related to one another because they have the same value. This expanded form version will have the same value as the standard form and the exponential form. So if we just go back up these numbers, we can see the fourth example here. This is 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. So we have 10 to the power of 4. Our next one is 10 times 10 times 10. So we have 10 to the power of 3, or in other words, 10 cubed. Our second example was 10 times 10, 10 to the power of 2, or in other words, 10 squared. And our last example was 10 to the power of 1. And obviously, we could just keep going with this strategy and theory as long as we wanted. So let's have a closer look at this exponential form. If I put myself 10 to the power of 3, this 10, this is what we call the base. And then the 3 up here is what we call the exponent. And the most common mistake that people make when they see this, they see 10 to the power of 3, and they give an answer of 30, because they think it means 10 times 3. That would be wrong. What I'm actually doing is I'm expanding this 10 out three times. So I'd have 10 multiplied by 10 multiplied by 10. You can see I have 1, 2, 3 tens. So 10 times 10 times 10 is 1,000. And let's see why this is really important to understand, because when we look at our place value system, all the values in our place value system are 10 times larger. So if we have a number in the ones column here, I have a 5. If it gets moved into the tens column, it becomes 50, which is 10 times larger. So in other words, looking at what we looked at today, if I had 10, I'd have a 1 in the tens column, a 0 in the ones column, and that would represent 10 to the power of 1. Now if I've got 10 to the power of 2, it would mean that I am now moving my places another place along my place value chart, because it's an additional times 10. And again, 10 to the power of 3 would be an additional place along my place value chart because it's an additional times 10. And I could keep doing that all the way up to the hundreds of billions, which would be 10 to the power of 11. What you might notice is a little trick. The 11, or the exponent, refers to the amount of zeros that I have after my 1. So you can see here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, which is how I got the 10 to the power of 11. 
And that's the powers of 10, and hopefully you can see why it's so important, because when we're looking at numbers along our place value chart, understanding the relationship between multiplying by 10 or dividing by 10 becomes very, very handy. Hopefully this video was helpful for you. If it was, head on over to themathshelter.com where you're going to find daily videos that are going to help you with everything you need to know about maths. But for now, guys, see you in another video. Peace out.